Hello everyone, Zillenbart here, or you can call me Zilly. Well, it's time to finish up Halloween with a special that really did surprise me. And even with the interesting fact that it was made by the same director and studio who also did Rock and Roll, which in turn has an inspired concept. And though it's not all similar, it does have a certain feeling that made me enjoy both shows. And this one's the obscure Halloween special from Nirvana, The Devil and Daniel Mouse. A duo mouse band of Daniel and Jan Mouse aren't getting a big audience in the hotel they play at, which has them fired. Feeling sad, Jan wishes to be a big rock star, and her wish is heard by the devil, cleverly named B.L. Zebub. He has her sign a contract that makes her a rock star, and with his assistant Weasel, named Weez Weasel, being Jan's manager, Jan becomes a successful rock star named Funky Jan, and she enjoys it. Yet she misses her partner Daniel and wants him to be with her. Yet B.L. returns to take her soul when she performs her biggest moment, and Daniel Mouse tries to find Jan and help her defeat B.L. by going to trial. Again, this special later became the inspiration for Rock and Roll, and there are certain bits between them that do make big connections. Both have a struggling band of rodent characters with a female singer and a lead guitarist. The female lead gets a chance to be a big superstar on her own, yet she wants her partner along and is connected to a demonic force. The villain features big expressions and has interest in the female lead. The male lead helps save his partner and they both sing a song together that finishes the villain's plot. But this one's more condensed and the villain's plot isn't all dynamic and big. It's a lot easier to get considering who he is, and the band is only of two characters, so there's not that many to focus on. However, everything else, almost likely, the entire special is very good, as it has a simple premise and fun look. It's such an easy story to follow and understand. And yeah, it did kind of start the trope of the rock superstar story of getting popular from a record company run by a bad guy, then forgetting about friends and family due to fame and fortune, then being down on luck, followed by some forgiveness and a comeback, and ridding the bad guy by doing their own vein, which is practically what many other films about rock stars use, as it's a cliché that somehow everybody doesn't catch on to. Yet this one's better than those other films, as it's focused on only a few characters, and even play around with the idea by literally having the devil let Jan sign a contract, and showing the contract to have more printed information that a normal one wouldn't. But that's not to say the special is good overall, as I have a couple of nitpicks. Like the trial segment seems unnecessary when just having the song is enough. It just has moments that go nowhere and additional characters that don't add much. Plus, there's times when some sound effects or music cues are delayed by a second or come out of nowhere, as well as some occasional quick cuts from one scene to the next without much flow between them. But some of these are just minor complaints, with the only main issue being the trial scene, as it adds little. And that leaves the rest of the special to be very good, with the major highlight for it being Beelzebub, or the Devil. He is much like Mach from Rock and Roll, but he has a cool and menacing voice, and his animations are amazing, even with how he appears. He can be a tree, and he can transform from a chicken, to a cat, and to a fish. Plus, his facial expressions are both fun and kind of creepy. The animation, even for 1978, is quite good, and having such a gloomy look is impressive, given that a lot of improvements have been made up until Rock and Roll. And also, all the characters do look like the animals they're supposed to, rather than making them almost unrecognizable from their animal counterpart. And the songs I say are kind of alright. I mean, they are forgettable for the most part, but they have neat melodies and an occasional memorable lyric. But then that's it. Yet overall, it's a fascinating special, and I wouldn't mind checking it out every Halloween, and I say it's as good or even better than Rock and Roll for having a simple story and nice looking animation. And the actors who voiced the characters did a great job. Jim Hensel voices Daniel Mouse and Beaver Drummer, Annabelle Kershaw voices Jane Mouse, Chris Wiggins voices B. L. Z. Bub. John Sebastian sings as Daniel Mouse and voices Rock Show MC, and Martin LaVolt voices Wheeze Weasel, Radio DJ, and Pawn Broker. As a whole, this special is pretty good. The characters are alright, the story is simple, the animation is nice, and the songs, while forgettable, are neat. Director Clive A. Smith had done a real good job of bringing a story about rock and roll fame and its consequences that while it is present in movies about singers nowadays, does take it literally, yet also be fun and simple. Plus it features good character expressions and designs, fun voices, and an idea that later became the inspiration for rock and roll. But while that film is fun in a different way, this special is fun on how easy it is to fully understand. 
and with its dark atmosphere, scary imagery, and use of the devil, I can say that I found a new special to watch for the Halloween season, and I enjoy every minute of it. So today, this special will begin rating of three stars. And speaking of the devil, or uh, don't you mean speak of the devil? <coughs> well, now you've fallen right into my trap. What trap? You haven't said anything enough to get me. Well, I want to find out who you really are, as you call yourself, Mister Nobody. You can't, because you killed me! More like I evaporated you. Whatever, I'm now a physical being that can and will haunt you to the end. Don't you mean a ghost? Science! I'm here to complete what I started, and I'll be coming back every Halloween until you're dead. No, I don't think so. Now, let's see what's under that mask of yours. No, don't! Speak of the devil! No, you moron! I've become a demon! Ever since you attacked me with that wand, my body has been slowly contorted and turning me into something that I'm not. And every time you use that wand on me, I become more and more of a demon than ever before. And your voice is a part of that? This voice was my disguise when playing as Mr. Nobody. Ah, so your real person and Mr. Nobody was your counterpart. So then, what's your real name? That's not important! And see you next year. So thank you for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook or Twitter, support me on Patreon. See you next time for a new video, and have a happy Halloween.